we're going to talk about an interesting question. Uh, how many languages can a child learn in a multilingual setting? So we had a little comment on the previous video and a parent asked about this because he had a four-year-old daughter and he was wondering if he made the right decision to teach her both English and Spanish at the same time. So we're going to take a look at that today. Okay, so welcome back to the channel. Um, raised in Thailand, we started this channel to help parents that want to teach their children languages, whether that is a sort of multilingual learning situation or whether it's learning a foreign language. Uh, I have been teaching kids languages, two of them, for about more than a decade. And I've seen Selena's multilingual journey, and I've also seen a lot of other journeys. If you see the thumbnail for today, you're gonna understand more and more the further we get into the video about why confusion is good for your child. And we are actually gonna get an answer to how many languages your child can handle. But it might not be the kind of answer that you might think it is. So there, there's a myth out there that exposing a child to too many languages can cause confusion, late development, and other language related problems. And they're not really true, but they're not really false as well, because there might be something to them. People experience that when their children have several languages, they will be slower in developing those languages. And that is true. Uh, it's also normal to mix languages, and that is not a sign of weakness. It's rather the opposite. It's a sign of strength because you're using the resources you have at your disposal to communicate. So later we'll talk more about the cognitive benefits that multilingual children have. So I want you to take a look at this beautiful nature because everything in nature has a way of adjusting itself. Right? So when we teach our children many languages, it will work out its own way of being able to learn all these languages. Just, just like this nature works out what it needs to work out to keep the balance. Let's talk a little bit about the benefits of starting very early with several languages because it's pretty obvious that if you teach your child i don't know spanish when they're young they're going to be better at spanish right but it's not only that it's also that all their other cognitive abilities are getting enhanced so that goes for creativity it goes for problem solving even academic results has shown to be better uh, you raise children multilingual and I'm gonna put a lot of access to these research papers down if you're interested. And if you haven't read the research papers before, I would suggest you to read the abstract in the beginning. And this will give you sort of a summary of the research, uh, of the research report. So you don't have to read the whole thing. In school, kids who are multilingual do better than ordinary kids. There is one exception here. And that is if the quality of the input or the, or the input in general is not good enough. So for example, if you're trying to raise a child multilingual and you don't have a native speaker and you don't have any, you don't give the child enough resources to learn, then it will be, it could be more of a confusion than a positive learning experience. But except for that, research shows there's been a lot of research the last 10 years that shows that most children have positive cognitive development. The last benefit that children being raised multilingual have is less, they're less prone to developmental diseases when they get older, such as, you know, Alzheimer. Okay, so we're going to get a little bit into 
how many exactly languages can you teach your child? Because I think we can conclude that two languages is not a problem. But how many? Five? Is it possible? Six? Is it possible? I want to give an example. Because we have to look at the real life. Learning languages is not a laboratory experiment. It's a real life kind of scenario thing. So think about a country like Switzerland. They have four official languages. And imagine a child growing up there. It wouldn't be strange to think that they would have four native languages, right? But what if, what if a child growing up there had one parent from Spain, which is not one of the languages that are official in Switzerland, and another grew up in Africa somewhere? So now it's not unthinkable to think that this child could have six languages, four because those are the, the official languages in the country and two additional ones for each of its parents. The question becomes, what does it take to learn a language well enough? So the, the question is not really how many languages, but how much quality time can you get with each of those languages? And I think I have the answer to that because I see with my daughter, Selena, she's trilingual. I see approximately how much she needs um, for, you know, in order to be fluent in one language. And I think it could be somewhere around yeah, 20 to 60 minutes of quality input every day will be a minimum for a child to be fluent in a language. So it all depends on, are you able to give your child that time with each language? Let's say two hours to be sure. Okay, so if you have six languages, that's 12 hours every day. So it's, yeah, it's possible. Six languages is possible. But there's no like, there's no limit from nature. It's just the limit is in how many hours are you able to put down quality input. and. When I mean quality input, some form of input is better than other kind of input. Um, so the, the lowest form is just watching TV or something. And then above that you have reading. And then above that you have speech, conversation. So the higher quality input, the less time you need. Okay, the last thing I want to say today is that these videos where I just talk is a little bit more in depth but if you want some more information that is more easily digestible you can look at the videos with my daughter uh, when she's on the cover other than that I hope you can subscribe to the channel and like the video and join our community okay see you next time